Nature and human life are as various as our several constitutions. Who shall say what prospect life offers to another? Could a greater miracle take place than for us to look through each other's eyes for an instant? Hello, Henry. Did you hear the news about the fugitive slaves that were caught stealing food just last night out by your pond? Quite the excitement. To think, they made it so far only to be caught for lack of supplies. My friend Thoreau, I know that there has been much delay, but your article is this moment in type and will appear as the leading article in Graham's magazine for next month. I will see that Graham pays you fairly for it. Do not think hard of him. I am enclosing two dollars until such time as he does. I propose that if you will sit down and write another article for me, I will give you twelve dollars for it on delivery, publish it, and leave you the copyright. Do not write too long or more quickly than you can think for that will not work for the magazines. Yours, Horace Greeley.
Dear Henry, thanks to God for your timely assistance for William and Ellen Craft. With your help, they were able to make their way to a ship bound for Europe, where they will live as free persons. I shudder to think of their fate had you not been able to assist them in time. Sincerely, A. Bronson Alcott. It is a terrible blow. First, your brother John is cut down so suddenly. And now my own dear little boy. Unbearable, truly. I may find solace in a long trip, far away from the woods and trails that remind me of him so. You are a true friend to watch over my home while I travel. You are more like a brother than my own is to me. Dear friend, my heart goes out to you and Lydian on hearing the news of young Waldo's sudden passing. Such a blow. Such a blow. I hate to bring more sadness, but I must resign from our dial. If it is to continue, you must pick up the reins yourself and drive it forward. If only I had been paid some support for my work, I would have remained. My financial options are limited, and so must seek employment as a teacher to support the work I do as a writer. This makes my work on the dial impossible now. Regretfully, Margaret.
my dearest love, Lydian. Our boy, our boy, our little boy is gone. Young Waldo was taken ill on Monday evening and died last night. All his wonderful beauty could not save him. He gave up his innocent breath last night, and my world this morning is cold. Shall we ever dare to love anything again? Farewell and farewell, oh my boy. Come home to us as soon as you are able. R.W. The change from storm and winter to serene and mild weather, from dark and sluggish hours to bright and elastic ones, is a memorable crisis which all things proclaim. It is seemingly instantaneous at last. To anticipate, not the sunrise and the dawn merely, but, if possible, nature herself. How many mornings, summer and winter, before yet any neighbor was stirring about his business, have I been about mine? 